Rain cannot damp the excitement as the first results come in of Britain's 1955 general election. Crowds throng Piccadilly Circus to watch the score, and each result is greeted by boos and cheers, rain or no rain. In the past few days, party leaders have toured Britain in support of local candidates. Biggleswade electors see that Sir Winston Churchill has lost none of his vigour. Heaviest polling is in the morning and evening, before and after working hours. At Walthamstow West, Mr Attlee's constituency, the Labour leader talks to workers in a canteen. Modest but sincere, he too is a seasoned campaigner who keeps his supporters' affection. Colleague Herbert Morrison makes his mark at Eltham. At Greenstead Green, Chancellor Rab Butler goes to record his vote. The man who has held the purse strings looks confident of the nation's verdict. At Leamington, the Premier's constituency, well-wishers greet Sir Anthony and Lady Eden. Not even a Prime Minister can escape determined youngsters out for an autograph. At Conservative headquarters, Lord Wilton pours over his map like a general. For the battle is joined, and up and down the land, the ballot boxes are giving up their secrets. Britain guards jealously her scrupulously honest electoral machinery, as foolproof as man can make it. Whatever the verdict, it has been fairly arrived at. And now the results are coming in. Woodford crowds cheer Sir Winston Churchill as his victory is announced, while a few miles away at Walthamstow, Mr Attlee is congratulated on his re-election. The Prime Minister wins Leamington again with an increased majority, a token of how things are going in the country as a whole. Cheers for the victor and the vanquished. Jubilation reigns at Conservative headquarters as it becomes clear during the night that the outcome is assured. And at Transport House, Mr Attlee and Mr Morgan Phillips realise that they must concede victory to their opponents. From before midnight, heavy rain falls on the waiting crowds in Trafalgar Square, but hundreds of them refuse to be driven away. As result after result is flashed on a giant screen above them, cheers and counter-cheers ring out across the square. Their future parliament is being revealed, the parliament which they themselves have chosen. And with the years ahead being decided, what does the weather matter? Next day, the papers confidently predict a conservative victory from the overnight results. The evening is confirmed. And to Abbey House, the winner's headquarters, comes a proud and happy Sir Anthony Eden. The first Prime Minister in nearly a hundred years to lead a government returned to power with an increased majority. We all look to him for leadership towards a happy and prosperous Britain. <laughs>